really bad. <laughs> why? Why? Well, I just designed the guitar, but I have no idea how to build it. It's the ram guitar, the rock and metal guitar. The Ram guitar is based on an original painting by Paul Raymond Gregory, who is um, a fantasy artist, but he's also the director and founder of Bloodstock Festival in the UK. I worked with him last year, in 2014, in which I built a custom guitar to represent the concept of the festival. And based on the reception of that guitar, uh, he commissioned me to build the Ram guitar. After designing the RAM guitar, I noticed that I didn't have the tools to build it. <laughs> that was the biggest kind of setback, I think, and it took me probably two weeks to figure out what I was going to do. And I needed to cut a three inch block of wood. Stonemasons, they used to use this fantastic technique, and it just suddenly kind of clicked in my mind was to drill a series of holes around the perimeter of the shape and in that way essentially it would be kind of like cutting it out remove the excess parts of the wood so you'd be left with the the shape It's actually more of a playable sculpture. I wanted it to be something you can hang on a wall as an art piece, but at the same time be playable. And it's kind of my vision as more of kind of like this, uh, this sculpture as opposed to a guitar, but it does perform as both. You know, I wanted to go above and beyond and really do something that would kind of be a showstopper, you know, that somebody would look at it and think, oh my God, holy shit. is that even possible? You know, something so scintillating, something so profound that it would stop people in their tracks. <laughs> 